you got your DoorDash bag, just trying to make some money, walking into establishments, accepting orders, and you see things like this. Where an establishment's like, hey, I need you to sign for this. I need you to fill out this information. What do you guys do? Why are they doing this? I need you to confirm pickup. Well, in some places, dashers are taking orders, stealing food. You get there, it's not ready. They're like, hey, I need you to confirm this pickup. Confirm it. The reason being is delivery drivers are sometimes taking orders. Maybe you see this. You got to put in a receipt number to make sure you have the right thing. Let's talk about dashers out here. My name is Pedro Dores Santiago, but call me Mr. Bet on you. And in today's video, we're going to talk about something that somebody brought to my attention. I mean, it's been there, but a couple weeks ago on a live, a particular viewer driver was talking about he's getting into places and they're saying the order's not there. Have you run into that? You get to a place, you're the fourth driver. We don't have that order. Somebody picked it up already. What's happening? Dasher stealing food? Restaurant lying? Did the customer place the order and pick it up themselves and then say they never got it and get a refund from DoorDash? A lot of different options. But today we're going to talk about these miserable dashers stealing orders. I did a short earlier. A lot of, lot of, lot of crazy comments. A lot of good comments. I want to get your guys' perspective. What do you do when you see a little sheet where you have to fill out? When you have and hear a manager say, "I need you to confirm pickup. Can you show me that?" And you don't have the food yet. What do you do when they want you to fill something out and you have the bag? They want you to confirm pickup and show them, and you have the food. Are you offended? Do you comply? Do you understand why the restaurant wants to do it? Let's talk about it. Drop a comment down below before we get going. So first off, do I think this happens often? I don't think it happens often, but it happens way more than it should. It happens daily. When you have millions of orders out there, we're gonna have some scumbag drivers taking advantage and stealing food. It might not even be a driver. It could be somebody that knows that that Chipotle Wingstop, Chick-fil-A, whatever, McDonald's, Taco Bell. I've seen them, Burger King, they have little shelves. Just people just walk in and take a bag. And then you are supposed to pick up that bag and you show up five minutes later and it's gone and there's an issue. Or there's drivers out there that show the phone. I got an order for Pedro. Take it. Don't confirm pickup. It's the last order of the night for them. They go home. They got that food. They unassign it. Many of these things happen, not often, but they are happening. And what happens to you and how do you handle it when that order is not there? Do you call support? I recommend you do, because if not, the next driver is going to show up if you just simply unsign it, right? But listen, what I want to talk about today is what I think we should be doing in those situations, my opinion on those drivers. So let's just get into it. Now, DoorDash, it's hard to prevent this, but some measures might be taking place. You know, they, they try to work with these restaurants to say, well, you can have drivers sign in. You can implement a pin code like you saw earlier. I don't mind those things. I don't mind the restaurants trying to protect their customer, protect their money. Because at the end of the day, like if too many, if this happens too much at an establishment, they're losing money, they're wasting time having to remake it. They got an angry customer. Maybe that customer doesn't use their service anymore. It snowballs. I mean, if I'm a restaurant manager and I'm having a problem at my establishment, I'm probably going to implement something. And I don't have an issue with it. Now, I think the restaurants that do it and they're rude about it or they want us to hit buttons before we have the food, that's an issue. I'm not going to hit confirm unless I have the goods, okay? And if they want me to hit confirm beforehand, I'm going to have a simple conversation. Well, hey, I can't do that until I have it. I don't know how long it's going to be. You know, I have to... Make sure I got the bag. I'll definitely hit confirm for you. No problem. I get it. That's my recommendation of how we should handle those situations. If they hand me the bag, I know it's there. I got my drink. I'm good to go, ready to walk out. If they want if they want me to hit confirm for them, I do it sometimes daily. Got no problem. I get it 100%. What do you guys do? Let me know in the comments. Are you offended by it? Do you want to wait to get to your car to do it? Do you... Do you not want them doing any of that? I've even had some people in today's short say they want, they even take the phone from you and do it. Now nah, that's crazy. I mean, nobody should be touching your phone unless you willingly give it to them. Okay. 
But how do you handle that situation? If you get to a store, it's not there. Obviously, somebody took it. Call support, get your half pay, get your full pay, whatever, get no pay. That way, another dasher doesn't come. That's number one. Number two, that's the root, the issue why they're having us confirm these things and you see the signage and you see the books is because those places, like I said, are having issues. As a driver, we got to be, we got to have a little empathy and understand their perspective of it. Try to work with these merchants in a respectful way. As long as they're giving you respect, you give it back. And if they're not, maybe you just don't do business with them. But that's why we have miserable drivers out here doing it, making us the good ones look bad. I don't think it's often, but it's definitely happening consumers know about it they get frustrated then they go on tiktok they make these tiktoks but now that we know this is happening and most of you guys have experienced it at some point maybe you're a consumer you're watching this maybe you're a driver that has been on the consumer end and you've never gotten your order and you had to reissue and it takes another 30 45 minutes let me know in the comments share your experience share your thoughts i don't mind when they ask me to confirm or sign something but like i said I'm not going to do it unless I got the bag. Unless I secured the bag, I'm not going to do it. And I don't recommend you doing that either. Because once you hit confirm pickup, your time starts to get to, to, to get to the customer. So why would I do that? Maybe I get a late violation. The customer thinks I'm supposed to be driving, but I'm still waiting 5, 10, 15 minutes. Don't confirm until you have the food and it's the right order. I actually like my local El Magui Mexican restaurant. They have a little pin code. And I could... They, they tell me the, the number I, or I look at the bag, three, four, five, one, two, three, ABC, one, two, whatever. I put it in, I confirm pickup. That's so I know I got the right food as well. Because sometimes that place might give you the wrong bag. Some merchants don't have a receipt on the outside. Some do, some have the name on it, some don't. We're all humans, we make mistakes. So I don't mind the confirming thing. I don't mind even filling something out. I don't. Some of you guys might not like doing that. I've seen things at Wingstop, a clip I sold you earlier, the little from Reddit, where they want you to put your name, the customer's name, how many drinks, how many bags. I've seen ones that I want you to put your phone number. I'm not going to put my phone number down, but I'll definitely put my name and the customer name. I'm trying to make money. It is what it is. I'm not offended by it. I think some of you guys don't like that. But let's look at the restaurant's perspective. Let's just put ourselves in their shoes for one second. As long as they're not trying to go over on us or not try to hit confirm before we actually have it. I don't mind doing those type of things, filling a little sheet out. Some places, I've noticed my wing stop did it last year. They're not doing it anymore. It might only be for a little while till they get things in order. I really don't mind it. What about you guys? And how often are you going to a place where they're saying, we get that order. It's been gone already. How often does that happen to you? Let me know in the comments. Is it daily? I think most of the most of y'all aren't going to say it happens every day. Is it once a week? Twice a week? I think that's probably kind of normal. Is it once a month? Have you never seen that before? Let me know in the comments down below. But let me part. Let me say this one last thing to these miserable drivers, because some I got some comments in the short that came out earlier saying they do that because that's their payback to DoorDash because for sending me low orders. I'll accept. Some drivers are accepting the no tip orders and eating customers' food. Stealing it on purpose. Karma's going to come back and get you at some point. It might not be on a DoorDash platform, but it's going to be somewhere. We should not be taking and stealing food. It's crazy. If you're the kind of driver that's that mad at the consumer for not tipping or the, the company for showing you a 2 or $3 offer, and you first off, just decline it. Don't be playing games with people's foods on purpose to try to be cute. It's my opinion. Because what you're doing is you're actually wasting another fellow driver's time. So to the drivers out there that are taking food and thinking it's cool and I'm going to show this customer, I'm going to show this DoorDash company, I'm going to get free food, you're basically spinning in the face of another driver because somebody else has to go pick that up, waste time, deal with a customer that's mad and rightfully so. So to any driver that's doing that kind of stuff, you can be better than that. To all the customers out there, if your orders get stolen, don't blame it on that second or third driver. We're just accepting offers, trying to get it to you. Call DoorDash, complain with them, call the store directly. It's not going to be on us because at the end of the day, we do have some drivers out here taking orders, stealing food, or just people doing that because maybe it's their last day on the platform. I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm stealing this. Karma will come back and get those people. 
but don't blame us. Don't, don't think most drivers are like that. And to all the people out there taking food, stealing food, because hey, times are tough for you. I get it. You maybe got a family to feed. You know, I've seen TikToks for drivers where people are stealing a hundred dollars worth of food because they see it's or oh, it's a big order. I got these these lobster tails, I got some shrimp, I got these crazy good pizzas. I'm gonna I'm gonna act like I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna unassign it after I pick it up. I got free food for my family. Times are tough, I get it. That ain't the way to do it. There's money to be made with these apps. Do it the right way. Don't be that person. Don't be that driver. Appreciate you guys watching this video. I just wanted to bring that subject to light. We had somebody on the live show, like I said, a couple weeks ago, and they were talking about how they've been seeing this in their market. Let me know if in your market is this common. Is it just at particular places, particular demographics? Is it nighttime? Is it happening in the morning? Let me know your experience with people stealing DoorDash food and how it impacts you. And also let me know, what do you do when you get into places and they want you to confirm pick up before you got it? They want you to fill something out. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think that's okay? See you tomorrow. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.